please welcome to the stage NVIDIA founder and CEO, Jensen Wong. Welcome to GTC. The industry is being transformed, not just ours. Because the computer industry, the computer is the single most important instrument of society today. Fundamental transformations in computing affects every industry. Hopper is fantastic, but we need bigger GPUs. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to a very, very big GPU, named after David Blackwell. This is Hopper. This is Hopper. Hopper changed the world. This is Blackwell. It's okay, Hopper. <laughs> 208 billion transistors. And so, so you could see, you, it, it, I can see, there's a small line between two dyes. This is the first time two dyes have been abutted like this together in such a way that the two, chip, the two dyes think it's one chip. There's 10 terabytes of data between it, 10 terabytes per second, so that these two, these two sides of the Blackwell chip have no clue which side they're on. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. And so this is the Blackwell chip, and it goes into two types of systems. The first one is form-fit function compatible to Hopper. And so you slide on Hopper, and you push in Blackwell. That's the reason why one of the challenges of ramping is going to be so efficient. They're Overall, compared to Hopper, it is two and a half times, two and a half times the FP8 performance for training per chip. It, is also, it also has this new format called FP6, so that even though the computation speed is the same, the bandwidth that's amplified because of the memory, the amount of parameters you can store in the memory is now amplified. FP4 effectively doubles the throughput. This is vitally important for inference. Over the course of the last eight years, we've increased computation by 1,000 times. Eight years, 1,000 times. The rate at which we're advancing computing is insane, and it's still not fast enough, so we built another chip. This chip is just an incredible chip. We call it the NVLink switch. It's 50 billion transistors. It's almost the size of Hopper all by itself. This switch chip has four NVLinks in it, each 1.8 terabytes per second, and, and it has computation in it, as I mentioned. What is this chip for? If we were to build such a chip, we can have every single GPU talk to every other GPU at full speed at the same time. That's insane. This is one DGX. This is what a DGX looks like now. This is now. 720 petaflops, almost an exaflop for training, and the world's first one exaflops machine in one rack. 130 terabytes per second goes through the back of that chassis. That is more than the aggregate bandwidth of the internet. And so, so we, we have 5,000 cables, 5,000 NVLink cables, in total two miles. Now, this is the amazing thing. If we had to use optics, we would have had to use transceivers and retimers, and those transceivers and retimers alone would have cost 20,000 watts, two kilowatts of just transceivers alone, just to drive the NVLink spine. As a result, we did it completely for free over NVLink switch, and we were able to save the 20 kilowatts for computation. This entire rack is 120 kilowatts, so that 20 kilowatts makes a huge difference. It's liquid-cooled. What goes in is 25 degrees C, about room temperature. 
What comes out is 45 degrees C, about your jacuzzi. So room temperature goes in, jacuzzi comes out, two liters per second. Unbelievable excitement for Blackwell. Extreme weather cost the world $150 billion. Surely more than that, it's not evenly distributed. $150 billion is concentrated in some parts of the world, and of course, to some people of the world. We need to adapt, and we need to know what's coming. And so we're creating Earth 2, a digital twin of the Earth for predicting weather, and we've made an extraordinary invention called CoreDiv, the ability to use generative AI to predict weather. NVIDIA Healthcare, something we started 15 years ago. We're super, super excited about this. This is an area where we're very, very proud. Whether it's medical imaging or gene sequencing or computational chemistry, it is very likely that NVIDIA is the computation behind it. We've done so much work in this area. Today, we're announcing that we're going to do something really, really cool. Imagine all of these AI models that are being used to generate images and audio. But instead of images and audio, because it understood images and audio, all the digitization that we've done for genes and proteins and amino acids, that digitization capability is now passed through machine learning so that we understand the language of life. AlphaFold has reconstructed 200 million proteins, basically every protein every, of every living thing that's ever been sequenced. This is completely revolutionary. Well, those models are incredibly hard to use, um, for, in, incredibly hard for people to build, and so what we're going to do is we're going to build them. We're going to build them for uh, the, the researchers around the world. And it won't be the only one. There'll be many other models that we create. And so let me show you what we're going to do with it. Virtual screening for new medicines is a computationally intractable problem. Existing techniques can only scan billions of compounds and require days on thousands of standard compute nodes to identify new drug candidates. NVIDIA BioNemo NIMS enable a new generative screening paradigm. Using NIMS for protein structure prediction with AlphaFold, molecule generation with MolMIM, and docking with DiffDoc, we can now generate and screen candidate molecules in a matter of minutes. MolMIM generates high-quality drug-like molecules that bind to the target and are synthesizable, translating to a higher probability of developing successful medicines faster. BioNemo NIMS are helping researchers and developers reinvent computational drug design. We've made Omniverse a lot easier to access. We're going to create basically Omniverse cloud APIs, four simple API and a channel, and you can connect your application to it. So this is, this is going to be as wonderfully, beautifully simple in the future that Omniverse is going to be. And with these APIs, you're going to have these magical digital twin capability. We also have turned Omniverse into an AI and integrated it with the ability to chat USD. The, the language of our language is you know, human, and uh, Omniverse's language, as it turns out, is universal scene description. And so that language is uh, rather complex, and so we've taught our Omniverse uh, that language. And so you can speak to it in English, and it would directly generate USD. Today, we're announcing that Omniverse Cloud streams to the Vision Pro. Everything that moves will be robotic. There's no question about that. It's safer, it's more convenient, and one of the largest industries is going to be automotive. We build the robotic stack from top to bottom, as I was mentioned, from the computer system, but in the case of self-driving cars, including the self-driving car application. At the end of this year, or I guess beginning of next year, we will be shipping in Mercedes, and then shortly after that, JLR. Today, we're announcing that BYD, the world's largest EV company, is adopting our next generation. It's called Thor. Thor is designed for transformer engines. Thor, our next generation AV computer, will be used by BYD. We are starting to do some really great work in the next generation of robotics. The next generation of robotics will likely be a humanoid robotics. We now have the necessary technology and as I was describing earlier, 
the necessary technology to imagine generalize the same computer that's going to go into a robotic car. This computer will run inside a human or robot called Thor. It's designed for transformer engines. Designed for Groot, built for the future. With Isaac Lab, Osmo, and Groot, we're providing the building blocks for the next generation of AI-powered robotics. The soul of NVIDIA. The intersection of computer graphics, physics, artificial intelligence. It all came to bear at this moment. The name of that project, General Robotics 003. Well, I think we have some special guests. Do we? Hey guys. So I understand you guys are powered by Jetson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is orange, and this is the famous green. They are the BDX robots of Disney. Five things, five things. First, a new industrial revolution. Every data center should be accelerated. A trillion dollars worth of installed data centers will become modernized over the next several years. Second, because of the computational capability we brought to bear, a new way of doing software has emerged, generative AI, which is going to create new, inf new infrastructure dedicated to doing one thing and one thing only, not for multi-user data centers, but AI generators. These AI generation will create incredibly valuable software, a new industrial revolution. Second, the computer of this revolution the computer of this generation, generative AI, trillion parameters, Blackwell, insane amounts of computers and computing. Third, new computer, new computer creates new types of software. New type of software should be distributed in a new way so that it can, on the one hand, be an endpoint in the cloud and easy to use, but still allow you to take it with you because it is your intelligence. Your intelligence should be packed packaged up in a way that allows you to take it with you. We call them NIMS. And third, these NIMS are going to help you create a new type of application, for not one that you wrote completely from scratch, but you're going to integrate them like Teams, create these applications. We have a fantastic capability between NIMS, the AI technology, the tools, Nemo, and the infrastructure, DGX Cloud, in our AI Foundry to help you create proprietary applications, proprietary chatbots. And then lastly, everything that moves in the future will be robotic. You're not going to be the only one. These systems all need one thing. They need a platform, a digital platform, a digital twin platform, and we call that Omniverse, the operating system of the robotics world. This is what we announced to you today. This is Blackwell. This is the platform. Amazing, amazing processors, NVLink switches, networking systems, and the system design is a miracle. This is Blackwell, and this to me is what a GPU looks like in my mind. One thing to show you. Roll it.
great, have a great GTC. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.